Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech and in this video I want to talk to you about a particular subject when it comes to venting your hot air from your mining rig, servers, whatever into your attic. Obviously that's going to have some drawbacks. Uh, a lot of people would rather just vent the air out into atmosphere. I was trying to do that by having a little smaller vent go over the wall and out to soffit. Didn't work out. So now we're just dumping it into the attic which can be very bad which is why I say everybody recommends just going out into the atmosphere, but they have a window nearby or something nearby in which they can do that. I don't, even though the door is right here, I am not going to leave my back door open into my house, leaving it unsecure. It's not gonna work out for me. My wife's definitely not gonna be happy. And if I were to run a huge duck or this duck across and out to the back door, that would make her even more upset. So. Instead, it's going into the attic. However, there's some concerns about that. Over here, I have some K-type thermocouples connected. One is going into the tent and one is going into the attic. And we can see here that uh, we're getting about 101 into the attic and 103 into the tent. So about 104 into the tent almost 102 into the attic. So that's getting nice and toasty there. And the biggest thing, even though it's not summer yet, and that's, that's what got me concerned and got me thinking, um, is as summer comes, the attic temperatures are gonna be hotter because the outside air, air temperature is gonna be hotter. Uh, right now, inside the house, it's about 79, almost 80 degrees. I think the AC just kicked on. Um, you really want your attic temperature to be about 20 degrees, maybe 25 at the max, and we're over that right now, right? So 80. 90, 100, we're, we're, we're in that 20 to 25 range, but it's really cool outside. The actual outside air ambient temperature is only 76 degrees, um, and our house is three degrees warmer. So let me show you something. All right, it's really bright out here, but right behind me, you can see one of my vents. I have another one back here uh, towards the peak of the roof. I think I got two of them, three of them total, uh, but that's not gonna be sufficient enough for my needs, considering the fact that, again, it's not summer yet, my rig's putting out a decent amount of heat into it, and we're already stressing that 20 to 25 degrees difference. So we're getting a new roof, which is going to allow me the opportunity to upgrade the vents. Um, we're gonna have uh, much better vents, much more modern vents, as well as I'm gonna supplement it with a, uh, an automatic um, closing and opening vent. It's gonna have a fan to help you know, mitigate the heat, because the big thing is during the winter, you don't want your your all your heat leaving your attic because you want to keep the house warm and then during the summer you need to exhaust that hot air so that way your AC isn't working too hard. So when you're doing something like what I'm doing right now, you need to take these factors into consideration. But with that in mind, I just wanted to share this little bit of information with you. Um, obviously, I am not a professional roofer. I am not an attic expert whatsoever, but just in a little bit of research, 20 to 25 degrees is what people recommend. Um, difference between internal and external and obviously I'm adding a huge variable to it considering the fact that these rigs get really hot. Now you don't have to get K-type thermocouples and a thermistor to, to monitor everything. A regular thermostat would work just fine, which there is one inside. It's actually saying 100 and, 106 degrees right now, but that will help you, you know, monitor your, your air temperatures inside your tent. But what is it doing to the temperatures up in the attic? You can probably get two of these put one over there by your attic access and be just fine. But just make sure that if you are gonna be dumping all this hot air into your attic, that you're taking it into consideration. Otherwise, if you have an availability to get it out into atmosphere, do that instead, uh, because otherwise your electric bill, because your HVAC or AC is running much more than it's anticipated. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Please do me a favor, on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.